Good afternoon, Packers fans. Aaron Nagler here with your Packers Daily Chat. Coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels. It's Friday, and the Packers are on a mini buy, I guess they like to call it, as the league mandates or the CBA requires uh, guys to be off for the balance of the weekend. But not here at Cheesehead TV, folks. No, we talk Packers Monday through Friday every single week here at Packers Daily and on the website and on our social and everywhere else. It's because what we do, we're devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. And uh, as you have probably surmised from the title of this video, I want to talk a little bit about that because uh, today is a very, 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 very important day in the history of Cheesehead TV because for the first time, Cheesehead TV is an actual business standing on its own. That's right. Uh, if anybody has followed Cheesehead TV in any real kind of way over the course of the last several years, or God forbid, since we started back in 2007, you'll know that when it began, it was very much a passion project for Corey and myself, very much almost just a reason to kind of stay in touch. When we first moved to New York, uh, you know, we lived very far apart from each other in the city, and Packer transplants gave us a kind of reason to see each other every week, right? But things grew and kind of took off a little bit, and that led to me working at Bleacher Report, which led to me working at Sports Illustrated, which led me to covering the team. And when I was covering the team, I wasn't allowed to do Cheesehead TV. Um, so I want to give a quick shout-out right now to Jersey Al, who, without Jersey Al, who is a partner here at Cheesehead TV, uh, we probably still wouldn't be going because when I was at – Gannett, I was not allowed to do anything even remotely connected to Cheesehead TV. And because of Al and his stable of writers that he brought along, uh, the the brand continued. The website existed in any way, shape, or form. And in that time, I think Corey, you know, saw what I was doing as far as my daily chats. Then they were on Facebook only, I believe, uh, for Gannett. And what I was doing in the social kind of sphere covering the team and I think he would, you know, he probably won't admit it, but I think he was a little kind of, he missed doing Packer transplants, missed talking with his buddy about the Packers. And so he said, like, why don't you come back and work for me at LiveX, which is his very successful live streaming company. And, you know, just do, keep doing what you're doing, run Cheesehead TV. And back then, this was, you know, what, five years ago, the idea was we'll get it on its legs, we'll get it standing on its own, and then eventually we'll make it its own thing. It will be its own business. And we were very close to doing that uh, right before the pandemic hit. Um, we had signed, we had literally signed two deals right before the world shut down, essentially. That probably would have egged us on to do this many years ago. But then the world did shut down, right? And uh, clearly uh, things changed. But what's kind of crazy about the whole kind of stretch of the pandemic was that it drove us to continue to find new ways to connect to Packers fans around the world, which we certainly did. Uh, two of the biggest ways were our watch parties and, of course, the happy hour that we do each and every week uh, with Patreon members and now carry the G Club members here on YouTube. And as we kind of continued out through the pandemic and came out of the pandemic, we you know, kind of recalibrated and said, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll make this a going concern uh, where, again, it can stay in on its own. And as of yesterday, uh, that's exactly what we've done. Uh, yesterday was my last day as an employee at LiveX. I am now officially only employed with an at Cheesehead TV. And I got to admit, it's a little scary. I'm 50 years old. If this had happened even 10 years ago, I think I'd be probably a lot more naive, but a lot more excited because I'd be a little just kind of like wide-eyed and like, let's go do this kind of thing. But Hey, I'm 50. I got three girls, and I literally just talk about football for a living now. You know, and Corey and I have done a lot of work throughout the, the many, many years we've been building the brand uh, from, you know, the things we've done. Obviously, the launching of the beer last year and the merch that we put out, the shirts like this uh, that are designed with the help of Brent. Uh, he does amazing work, clearly, that has helped spread brand awareness and built up, you know, the, the kind of the foundation of the brand to a point where I, I can do this as a, as a living, which is insane. If you had told 17-year-old, 15-year-old Aaron 
this is what you'll be doing when you're 50. First of all, I would have said, what's the internet? And the next thing I would have said is, that's awesome. So it's a, it's a very important day in the history of Cheesehead TV. And I didn't want it to let it, I didn't want to let it pass, especially today of all days. It's kind of perfect because the Packers, like I said, are off. So I wanted to talk about us for a second. You know, and I never do this. I actually kind of hate this. I hate when people do it. But it is very important to me. And it's important for me to say to you, thank you. I cannot thank you guys enough. All of you who are Patreon members, all of you who are Carry the G Club members, anybody who's ever put up a super chat, anybody who's ever done anything to connect with the brand as far as buying one of our t-shirts, uh, hitting like on a video, visiting the website. I mean, shout out to all the writers, all the writers throughout the years. Here's the other thing. Corey and I have really tried to make this a place where, and Al has as well, obviously, where you can kind of cut your teeth. And we have so many people. I was thinking about this today. We have so many people out there covering the Packers for a living who started here at Cheesehead TV. It's incredible to me. Or maybe not, but a lot of them are doing it for a living, and some of them would just do it like as a way to kind of augment their income. Whatever the case, there are people out there like making a living covering the Packers who started here at Cheesehead TV. We are like the draft and develop place for content creators, and I really kind of wear that as a badge of pride. Um, so, I, I, again, I'm just saying thank you. Thank you to everybody who supports the brand. Uh, one of the things that Corey and I really need to do is something we've always sucked at. And Corey and I have talked about this. He said, you should just say it. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to say it. Um, one of the things that we have always sucked at is sales, right? Trying to find sponsorship deals, brand deals. Like I said, we had two signed and ready to go right before the pandemic. We thought, okay, here we go. And then it all fell apart. And now here we are. And it's like, yeah, we, we are doing very well, well enough where I can pay my rent in New York City, right? And I can live my life and talk Packers and connect with people and make this my job. But we really want to take this year to kind of, you know, push it up to the next level. And if you know somebody out there who's maybe a local business, somebody connected through or about or by Wisconsin and the Packers, and they're looking for a little marketing push, a little help, let us know. Shoot us an email, contact at cheeseheadtv.com. I had someone actually today reach out, local business, and it's like that's exactly what we're looking for. You know, I, you guys know our relationship with Ticket King. Uh, that's the kind of push we can give you. And it's just something we've been, like I said, we've been very bad at. We've already talked to a couple people about helping us out in that regard. I'm very excited about it. It's just something I've never been good at. You know, I can talk about football all day, but you start asking me to sell Cheesehead TV, and I'm like, I don't know. So that is what I wanted to say about the new era. I will say shout-out to everybody who was on the chat before I came on because you guys were hilarious talking about what this might be. Nothing's really changing on your end. That's the other thing. Like, we'll still be making tons of content, still lots of great stuff coming your way throughout the season. Um, I do want to give – I've mentioned – Corey and Al and all the writers, I can't thank each and every one of them enough because they do great work providing amazing content and analysis each and every day on the website. Uh, but I got to give a very special shout out to Tyler Herrick, who, you know, reached out to us, what, four years ago or something like that. Just a cold email out of nowhere. Hey, um, I work for American Airlines. I love the Packers. I love what you guys do. I want to do social media for you guys. Which is funny because Corey and I have talked, had talked so much about we need a social voice. We need somebody to like kind of take this and run with it because we knew we sucked at it. Um, and Tyler has absolutely knocked it out of the park and taken the brand to such an amazing level that I never even thought was possible to the point where like, Leroy Butler was on one of our shows talking about how funny and great and engaging our content was and how our Twitter feed was amazing. David Bakhtiari shouting out the Packers and saying, you guys need to be more like Cheesehead TV. That's because of Tyler. I mean, Tyler's awesome. Tyler is so awesome, and I cannot thank him enough for his hard work. And, yeah, he gets paid for his gig, and that's what the money is for. I am Mad Men, whatever. 
but I have to tell him, you, Tyler, you knock it out of the park each and every day, man. I'm so, so happy you sent that email. And I'm so happy you're with Cheesehead TV, dude. You do killer work. So that's it, man. That's that's where I'm at. It's it's my job now. Which it's weird because it's like it's obviously been my job for several years now. But for the first time, I'm rising and falling as a human here in this world of ours by the uh, ebbs and flows of Cheesehead TV. Which is crazy to do when you're 50 years old. I'm 50 years old, people! It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm nervous, excited, happy, like, all rolled into one. So that's it. It's a new era at Cheesehead TV where, again, not too much will change on your end. But I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate the fact that this is even possible because of every Patreon member, because of every Carry the G Club member, everybody who comes here and mixes it up. This is amazing. It's amazing. I, I absolutely, I'm speechless at the fact that this is my life and you all make it possible. So thank you. All right. I'm going to enter the comments now and watch you all make fun of me. It'll be good. What's going on? Uh, Brad starts us off with a super chat. What's up, man? Way to go, Nags. G said TV for life. Carry the G and go pack go. Thank you, brother. And I swear to God, Brad, I we, we've gone through another off season without a big Lebowski watch party. I can't. I have no one to blame but myself. It will happen. I promise you, it will happen. Ed, thank you for the super chat. After preseason, how are you feeling about Barry? He's got to prove it, dude. That's how I'm feeling. I love that he's up in the booth. Doesn't mean a hill of beans if Bears come out there and score 30 points week one. That's how I'm feeling about Barry. Mimsy, thanks for the Super Chat. Is the IPO one share per Super Chat? <laughs> Congrats. You were one of my earliest and most resonant Twitter followers. Ha- follows have an extra Dales tonight. Really, really appreciate Mimsy. Yeah, here's the other thing, folks. Every Super Chat means a lot more now, let me tell you. <laughs> like, they always meant a lot, but they mean a whole lot more now. I really, really appreciate everybody's support. Eric, thank you for being a Carry the G Club member. Really appreciate the support. Congratulations with this new full-time endeavor. Will you be in Green Bay more working on the beat? Will I hear your voice in Matt LaFleur's pressers? Uh, Eric, not yet. Possibly down the line, that could be something that that happens. I'll, I'll uh, just point blank. Corey is jonesing for me to move to Green Bay for obvious reasons. It would clearly take us to another level if I did. But I will say there are two things that keep me in New York. And A, number one, 1,000% are my daughters who (sighs) – sorry. My daughters are my life. They're my whole world. And I could never imagine not living in the same city. And it's so funny because I know. (laughs) I know uh, how much more successful Cheesehead TV would be. If I moved, <laughs> so stupid. But uh, I just can't. I can't. I love them so much. And uh, the fact that this is their dad, like, yo, what is your, like, imagine being them and uh, having your friends ask, what does your dad do? It's a little crazy. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I could never, ever, ever live somewhere they're not. So maybe when they're older and living their lives and, you know, have their own apartments and lives and what have you, maybe down the line some year, like maybe I'll retire in Green Bay and she said TV will be like the most amazing old folks home ever. Uh, but uh, and the other thing is, and this is, you know, uh, the the thing with my daughters is very real, but the other kind of part of it is, 
You know, Packer Transplants is the name of our flagship show. When Corey and I first started this, it was about the fact that we didn't live in Wisconsin. And I love that I represent those Packers fans. Packers fans who don't live in the Green Bay area, who don't live in Wisconsin, but are just as passionate about the Packers as any other person in the state of Wisconsin, in the city of Green Bay. Packer transplant. That's what I am. And I think there are literally millions of people around the world just like me. And I am very, 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 very proud to represent that viewpoint. And I've never, it really was driven home to me last year when we were in London and how many people came out to our meetup and just said hi at the game, said, hell, I said hi on the tube. Um, yeah, that kind of re-solidified for me how important that aspect of Cheesehead TV is. So, yeah, not, not moving back anytime soon is the short answer there. Um, Mimsy, thanks for the Super Chat again. $2 for social intern budget. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Krista, long-time Carry the G Club member. Really appreciate it. We need you as much as you need us. Congratulations. Thank you, Krista. I'm so happy you, you got to go to a game. Um, I'm so happy that you're there every happy hour, even though you never talk, except that one time. I really appreciate you, Krista. Soder, thanks for the Super Chat, man. No, thank you. Providing access to Packers fans worldwide via multiple platforms has improved my life. Soder, you're a stalwart, man. Uh, I can't thank you enough for everything you do on the happy hour as far as bringing up topics of conversation and just being a real kind of connective tissue, as it were each and every week. I really appreciate you. And I love how much you drive Corey nuts with your uh, um, Whitehurst nonsense. Stefan, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to the best intern ever, Tyler. Amen, brother. Amen. Ed, thanks for the super chat. Congratulations. I've said this before. The refuge you provide from all the really important stuff in life is really important. Congrats and thanks. Go Pack Go. Thank you, Ed. Uh, you've been here forever, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Mimsy, thanks for the super chat. Nagler to McGinn, I am the captain now. I don't know about all that. Bob's a legend, even though he hates me. But uh, I, I'll never, I'll, I'll never talk too ill of the man. I mean, I did get upset when he came after me when I joined the beat, but that's a long time ago now. Rob Clark, thank you for the super chat, man. Love you, Nags. Thank you, Rob. Really appreciate the support, man. Vex, thanks for the super chat. Justin Jefferson going to get 300 yards against the pack, probably. If Joe Barry comes out in his week one version, we'll see. Lewis, thanks for the super chat, man. Missed my first super chat. Congrats, Nags. Lewis, did I? It might not be putting him up. I'm sorry, brother. Adam, thank you for the super chat. How is Pappy? How is the Pappy's? Cheers to keeping Cheesehead TV going and carry the F and G. Um, I will admit, I have dipped into the Pappy's that Charlene sent, and it is glorious. That is all I can say. 20 year. Not bad. Stefan, thanks again, man. Nags, you are a great, great dad. Thank you. I mean, I don't know about that, but uh, I'm a dad. Joe, thanks for the super chat. Week one games are so unpredictable. What will happen versus the Bears that looks totally unlike what we saw in the preseason that will have us freaking out? Uh, the, all the motion. I think we, we've we seen a little bit so far in the preseason. I think you're going to see a lot more motion. You're going to see a lot of condensed formations. You're going to see the whole kind of breadth and width of the field utilized in the offense. It's, we've seen a lot of kind of bootleg, very basic stuff so far in the preseason. I think you'll see a lot more of what I was just talking about. Brian, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it, man. Mr. Tundra, thanks for the super chat. We love you, Nags. Family is everything. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Mimsy, thanks again, man. One Taylor Lambeau show and y'all will move to Green Bay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the the running joke with my girls is because uh, the NFL keeps tr asking Taylor Swift to play the Super Bowl halftime, and she keeps kind of begging off and saying, no, not yet. She wants to finish all her re-records, and then she'll probably do it. And whenever that happens, they're like, oh, Dad, you're covering the Super Bowl that year, and we're sneaking in your luggage. So good luck to the, the Nagel girls in that, that regard. Frank, thanks for the Super Chat, man. Just moved to San Diego from Connecticut, transplant for life. So, Frank, you know the life. 
You know what I'm talking about. Word, man. See, I'm here for you. Vex, thanks, man. Thank you for enriching my life. Love you, Nags. Vex, look, man, you challenge me all the time. Like, I joke about you being negative, but, dude, you're you're on point. You ask good questions. You do. You have, like, great points to bring up each and every day. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you. Evernight, thank you for the super chat. Congrats, Nags. I've followed you since you were at your previous gig and followed you here after the transition. Always appreciate your views and usually share them myself. We fans are spoiled by the content creators we have. Thank you for the super chat. And, man, that last point is so on point. Like, I don't think Packers fans understand. Like, I remember when Robert Tunyon was on a, I think it was a Barstool show, and he joked about how there were way too many Packers podcasts. And to an extent, like, I understand what he's saying, but, man, you're absolutely spoiled for choice as a Packers fan, not only with the people covering the team professionally, on the beat, what have you, but as far as, like, fan-driven stuff and people creating content around the team that we all love, God, there's so many smart, fun, insightful people creating content about this team each and every day. And just go out there, man. Adventure is out there, to quote up. I mean, just just great stuff. Carl, thanks for the Super Chat, man. I'm proud, and I'm 50, and I like to kick and stretch and kick. I'm 50. Way to go, Nags. Carl, uh, I would be lying if I didn't say that I think of that every time I say the words, I am 50. But I can kick. Victor, thanks for the super chat. Daughter just turned one, and goddamn did that hit. They're here's to you and them girls, bud. We appreciate you and all you do. Thanks for a bang into the long week. I'm with you, brother. Hey, hey girl dad, man. We're out here. Good stuff. Make sure I didn't miss any before I keep going here. Uh, I need a t-shirt uncomebackable. <laughs> that was a great quote by Rogers. I did love that. Would you ever do a watch party where a few people could pay to watch a game with you and Corey? Brett, yeah, we've talked about that. It's the logistics of it, right? Like, I'd love to do it in some kind of venue where we could do it live, like all together. I don't want to do it like remote like Corey and I do, uh, throughout the season where I'm in New York and he's in Green Bay. We did kind of do that this preseason for the Bengals game, and I will say that was fucking awesome. Um, yeah, maybe somewhere down the line if we f- like found a good game to do it. Maybe the Chiefs game this year because we're having our Patreon and Carry the G Club member meetup that weekend. Uh, maybe we do it that night. It would be fun, but we'll see. Uh, Nag, sorry, I can't super chat. Still love the content. Keep it up. Thank you, Wisco Sports. I know you're a regular. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. That dog and duck meetup in London was excellent. Loved every moment. Adam, I will say that is one of my favorite moments just in life, (laughs) probably the last 20 years. And it's certainly one of my proudest moments when it comes to Cheesehead TV, just to see the impact that the brand has had the idea that Packers fans utilize Cheesehead TV to connect to their favorite team the way we do. Like, we just love the Packers so much. And to find so many people from literally all over the world who feel the same way, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. Um, Rick, thanks for the super chat. Congrats, but I was scared. I love listening to Nags, especially when it is just you. Love to the girls. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Dustin, thanks for the super chat. Got to have a Chatelaine drink with Corey now. I need to have one with you at the new house. Dustin, I missed you while I was in Green Bay. Why didn't you say something? I was there for like a month almost. M, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks for everything you do, Nags. You changed my way of living, my passion for the Packers. Making a living of your passion makes you a true winner. I don't know about that last part, but I really appreciate you, man. We miss you on the happy hour. Hope you can get by one of these weeks. And thank you for your support. Really appreciate you, man. Q King. What's up, man? Thanks for the Super Chat. Hey, Nags. Glad to catch you live again. What are you most excited to see from this team this season? Go Pack Go. Definitely the development and improvement from all the young players. Not just Jordan Love, though he's obviously the headliner. But, you know, Jaden Reed. And hell, Malik Heath. And Lucas Van Ness. Every young guy on this team, this is the year where there's very little expectation of them to win a championship. I think that returns next season, but this year, 
let's see these guys improve and develop each and every week and get better as the year goes on. That's my that's the thing I'm most excited about. It really is. And I know I've had you know rival fans might kind of make fun of that, but I don't care. That is literally how I view this year. I, I look at these things in big windows, kind of like the Packers do, and they're hopefully opening another big window where they can compete for championships. And that all starts with this season being a foundational year for all these young guys. No doubt about it. Saul, thanks for the Super Chat, man. Is it me or does this Packers O-line seem to be one of the biggest they've had in a long time just going by height? Yeah, I was – it's funny you say that. I was just talking about that with uh, someone the other day. And it's funny because they, you know, were so – for so long the kind of – I guess the gist of the offensive line was the athleticism, right? Their ability to run that zone scheme and have athletes out front. It seems like they've maybe turned a little bit, but they still have guys who can run. They still got guys who got good feet. Um, but, yeah, you start throwing Caleb Jones in there, and, yeah, they're a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, a little bit. I think there's been a bit of a turn in that regard. Not huge, but a little bit. Carl, thanks again, man. So does this mean two-hour long Packer dailies? Uh, uh, that'll be a no. That will definitely be a no. There will be no two-hour Packer dailies. Nobody wants that. Um, all right. I'm going to have to get going, everybody, speaking of no two-hour Packer dailies. But I will uh, say once again, thank you so much for your support at Cheesehead TV. If you want to become a Patreon member or a Carry the G Club member here on YouTube, all we ask is $5 a month to support the brand, everything we do. It really, I cannot tell you how long it goes as far as going a long way to help support, especially now, everything that we're doing at Cheesehead TV. Um, as far as, you know, I know not everybody's in a position to give money monthly, right? Like every little thing you do as far as visiting the website, interacting there, commenting, commenting here on the YouTube channel, hitting like on a video, subscribing to the YouTube channel. All of it means so much to us, and I can't thank you enough. Um, all right, I got to get going. Can't thank you guys enough. Please hit like, hit subscribe, and then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great holiday weekend. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys next week. Go Pack Go. Uh, 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 uh.